Lorraine Kelly said goodbye to her upscale seven-bedroom Broughty Ferry home back in 2018 and it has since been returned to the property market with a huge discount. After originally being listed with Savills, which accepted offers over £1 million, it has now had its asking price slashed to just £940,000. At the start of the year, the current owners put the property back on the market and the home report valued the house at £1,150,000 and it was put on sale for offers over £1,000,000. Last month saw the asking price cut by £60,000 to £940,000 a massive £210,000 saving on the home report valuation. With the housing climate tougher than ever, the reduction may tempt new buyers to splash the cash on the stunning property, known by its name of Melford. The new owners are said to have upgraded the property before attempting to sell it, enlarging one of the main bedrooms, revamping the kitchen and adding electric gates for privacy. Meanwhile, the already impressive tree-lined walled gardens have been landscaped to add dramatic effect. When Lorraine was living there, it boasted a vintage American diner-style room featuring photos of iconic celebrities from the past, such as the Beatles. It also offered a blast from the past with retro features such as an original antique fireplace and eye-catching period furnishings. Bedrooms stood out due to Art Deco wallpaper and wooden flooring, while the mansion also came complete with an outdoor office, a summer house and a fish pond with a bridge. It is believed that ITV star Lorraine first purchased the property back in 2010, before moving to Buckinghamshire several years later and eventually going on to sell the stunning home. It comes after previous reports that she and husband Steve Smith had clashed with neighbours in their new abode, worth double the price of their Dundee property. They've reportedly been keen to tear down a huge tree, but council chiefs are said to have blocked their planning application, as it sits within a conservation area. She previously applied to have a pine tree felled, after it caused bird poo and needles to be left over the couple's cars. This bid was rejected after her neighbours reportedly disapproved. At the time, the Daily Mail released a statement provided by the council, which stated, the role of the council is to find balance between the harm that would be caused to public amenity if the tree were felled, and the concerns raised by the applicant, agent. Felling the tree would result in significant loss of vegetation, which would be harmful to the character and appearance of the conservation area. The Sun previously reported that Lorraine's historic home features a huge living space with vaulted ceilings, a 24-feet conservatory and a guesthouse, alongside a whopping 100-feet wide garden. However, the couple had plans to add an 18-feet wide extension to the side of the house, with a conservation roof light and timber double-glazed doors, which would project a further 15 feet onto the garden. Lorraine's planning agent told The Sun in 2022, the bedroom would have a pair of matching windows to the north and a set of French doors with side lights to the west, leading to a small deck and the views over the river, 